Time now for number five. And yesterday we talked about a Spanish magician. And today we talk about one as well. <laughs> Only difference here is he actually has an MLS MVP trophy in his cabinet. That is Toronto FC's current designated player, Alejandro Pozuelo. Where do we start here? I think we have to start at the very start. The first debut game that he comes in, number 10 on his back. Everybody loves a number 10 that's just gone. How are we going to replace the Bastian Jovinko? <laughs> New York City FC are in town. It's never an easy game. And you were commentating, I was on the sidelines, goes on and delivers one of the most sensational debuts you can ever imagine in professional soccer. Yeah, you're always waiting on the new player to come. It was a big protracted transfer, wasn't it? It took a while to get him across from, from Belgian football. Eventually he comes and there's the anticipation in the packed stadium and we're wondering how it's going to go. He Panenka's his first goal, as we know. <laughs> yeah. And I'll never forget the second. The love. You know, it was unbelievable, KJ. The lad was exhausted. I think Luke Wamman's still saying, oh, <laughs> He was so excited, and as he should have been. The stadium erupted. It was just such a moment, exhausted, and to find that finish at that moment was, was incredible. And so, yeah, everything starts there with Pozuelo. He's went on to do, do, do big things as well. You yeah. know, even though in that first season, he, he, he was a little bit leggy from playing so many games. The next season was absolutely brilliant again. I think there's more to come as well, isn't I think there? there is. There's another level, isn't there? You have to imagine, it obviously carried TFC in many parts yeah. of 2020. He rightly got the MVP, the most important word there is valuable. Yeah. So valuable to Trans FC. Even in the run to 2019, no Josie Atto played false nine, scored big goals, obviously got the penalty. We were there, yeah. obviously at City Field, the home of the New York Mets. I was on the field, he was swearing in front of the microphone. <laughs> Everything was all going off. Uh, very rarely away from the headlines. And I think at a time when TFC needed a post the child again somebody who you want to buy a jersey with a name on the back he delivered he wasn't just a good player he needed to become that kind of superstar yeah superstar and passionate isn't he you know he he, he loves the game you can see it you yeah. know and he has that passion and, and he's had these moments like you mentioned but that's why we love Pozuelo because we we know what he brings he needs to be important and integral to every part of TFC's games when he's getting the touches and he's dominating that midfield area where he likes to uh, do his stuff, then TFC are normally playing their best football. Yeah, no doubt about it. And another big time team guy as well. No one will really talk anything bad about him nope. as well. Always thinks more about the team, but enjoys those individual honours as well. Current MLS MVP, Alejandro Pozuelo. Welcome to the best list brought to you by Best Athletes, helping youth soccer players develop and get recruited and helping coaches build better athletes and teams.